writing commands in terminal gives me a feel that I'm a hacker or something, the typical programmer you see in the movies. Do you feel the same? Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzal and you're watching Flutter Fire series. In the last video, you have seen how to create Firebase project. Now in today's video, we'll see how we can integrate that project inside our Flutter application. You can use terminal window, command prompt or inside VS code, it's just one and the same. So the first command is to bring Firebase inside our system so that we can interact with Firebase projects. Now I will mention this command in the description section so you can copy from there. And let's go ahead and list all of the project. Let's see what happens. It doesn't give any record because it doesn't know who I am. So let's go ahead and log in first with this command and you have to authorize on the web and log in with the same account which you created Firebase project. And once you do that, basically you will be good to fetch all the projects inside your system. So it doesn't mean that it is going to download all the projects. It's just an interface that you can uh, do some command like add project, delete project and interact with your Firebase from your console. That's it. I would like to take a moment to congratulate Samir Singh for winning the competition we held on our channel for typing. Samir Singh has scored 81 words per minute and I was just near about him like uh, 79 and I would like to congratulate all of the other participants as well. A big round of applause for you. So next time I post such contest, make sure to participate and get a shout out in the next video. So let's continue with the tutorial. Perfect. Now next up, what we're going to do is add Flutter Fire CLI. Now what that does, basically it uh, creates all the configuration file for the selected project from Firebase. So let's go ahead and install Flutter Fire first. I'll put this command in the description so that you don't have to do the hard job. And now once you're Flutter Fire CLI is installed. You can say Flutter Fire configure and now it will ask you the project you want to configure. And once you select that, you can choose the platform for which you want to configure your Firebase. And it's going to basically create all the configuration for Android, iOS and web. Now, if you remember in the first video, I have asked to pick a proper organization name because Flutter Fire takes that package name and register on Firebase console. So if you have done everything correctly and you followed along with me, at this point you should have Firebase option file which contains all the configuration for iOS, Android and web as I have said earlier and you should be good to start with your project. So we are done with the terminal part. Now before you get too excited, let me tell you that there's couple of lines of code we still have to write to make sure everything works seamlessly you have to initialize your Firebase application. Now, what it does basically, it tells the Firebase engine that what is the project, what is the configuration. So just write this simple line of code where you provide the option from the default option of current platform. Now, this current platform comes from the Firebase option file. So if you have set up that correctly, you should be good. And the last thing you have to do is make sure your Flutter bindings are initialized before you initialize the Firebase. So for that, you can write widgets Flutter binding dot ensure initialized. Now it will make sure that everything is set up, everything is running before doing any other work. So with that, you are done with Flutter configuration part with the CLI command line interface. And in next video, we'll learn how to use Cloud Firestore, which is also known as Firebase database and we'll see complete example of a CRUD operation where we'll read the database, write into database, update the record, delete records and we'll see with a real time example. So make sure to subscribe the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.